New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. Zebra in the morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg. Y'all give it up for Tiny. 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 What's going now, on? Now, do we call you Tiny Harris? You can call me Tiny Harris. You call me Tiny. A Tiny. Yeah. Now, um, you have a new project out. Um, also, uh, you guys are back on television. Yes. Yes, we are back the on television. The Family Hustle is back. Every Monday. The Family Hustle is back. Yes, it is. You, um, <laughs> and, you, are, you and T.I. are... Um, what real life marriage and parenting is really about, I think, in the realest way. I think Thank so. You. Like, because through all the ups and downs, everybody's always like, they're going to end up back together again. Right. <laughs> yeah, I guess it, that's what it looks like. Keeps happening. But, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but that's good, though, right? I mean, that's good. You know, we love each other. We got a lot of love for each other. Where and and we were uh, making jokes on on the show. We these two, uh, well, really, Laura. She does a segment called the Relationship Guru. Uh huh. People email, they ask for advice in a relationship, and we have one of the sayings. Because I'm not a guru, uh, I haven't been successful in relationships enough. Um, one of the sayings that they have is, um, you know, uh, be patient. How much of your relationship with Ti has been about patience? I think a lot. I mean. A lot of a lot of life, you know, lessons are about patience, even with your kids, you know, and just relationships. I mean, 18 and a half years, you got to have some patience for a person that you have to be with and see every day, all day. What's the you know? what's the longest off period that you guys ever had? Six months. We just broke up probably in 2012. And you were apart, completely apart. Yeah, we was complete. That's when I, right around when I filed for divorce, I really, like, left. I was gone for, like, six months. Filed. I moved out. Moved out. Yeah. Didn't talk for a while. No, at all, for six months. It has so, to be hard, though. That's cause the you only guys... time we've ever had real, real distance, yeah. other than, like, two weeks right. or something like that. Yeah. It has to be, because when I think about, when you say things like that, you guys, in, in, in my head, obviously, because I only see what you guys put out. You guys are so close, especially when it comes to the kids. Yes. Like, how do you guys balance all of that? Uh, well, we have a lot of help. You know, help is key. Because, you know, um, between... A lot of money, too. Money, very true. paid very help, true. family very help. True. You guys yeah. got it all. They're rich. Very, very, true. True. very true. But, I mean, you know, we try to be hands-on at the same time, but it's a lot of them. So, you know, we have to be pulled in different directions. Sometimes we need that help to help with this one so we can get over here to do this with this one, you know, and so on and so on. What's the updated age range? The updated age range, they're 23. We have a 19-year-old, two, one 18-year-old, um, one and another one's about to be 18 in June. So, um, and then we have an 11-year-old and a 15-year-old. He's about to be 15 in August. Okay. So he's still 14. And then we have a 3-year-old. So that's oh, the end. She's, We're done. That's it. She's the star right now. <laughs> done, done. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm, I might as well wait on grandkids for right now. I have seven is a good number. It's my favorite number. Really? Yeah. Boom. God number. Listen, uh, now talk to me about the Atlanta Airs. I did not know that Master P had a global mixed gender basketball league. Yes, he does. This He's, is I, I, <laughs> you I, I, didn't know remarkable. That? I love it. You didn't I didn't know either. I did not know. You didn't tell and me Tiny is the starting point guard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I have my own team. I'm actually one of the founders of it. Where they brought me in. I'm the first person that they brought in. And then we got Master P and everything. But um, he um, he's definitely very serious about it. He loves basketball. Yeah, he's so serious. he's, you know, he's really tuned in when it comes to this whole league. Are people paying attention to it? Is it starting to move? Um, it's it's doing more. I mean, I just had my last game. I mean, well, my second game um, that didn't go so well against lost, uh, Trick that Yeah, uh, Trick Daddy and Trina. They have a, a Miami team, so they you know they have teams that they're building. Um, I think Ice T has a team for mm -hmm. New York. Um, and they're yeah. mixed gender. Yeah, so mixed it's, gender. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a cool, it's it's a cool, cool vibe. Yeah, yeah, it's cool to see the girls and the guys working together and the girls be hooping. Like, I mean, and they're, they're like, playing up against each other and it's really working. Like, That's dope. It's very progressive. I, yeah. I love it. I, well, when I saw it, I was like, this is amazing. I mean, it's yeah. a perfect time, too. And I think that it also helps um, put, you know, 
uh, the skill set of, you know, athletic women on a platform where you can actually see a right. woman playing against a man. Because there's women out here that will that will handle these dudes. Yep, yep. No problem. For real. And you see that in the game. You see that in one of our games. Um, The uh, new album. Yes. What's this about? What are we doing? Um, I mean, it's just a... And it's an EP, and um, it's just a song, a couple songs that I just wanted to put together a body of work so I would have for my fans that's asking for music. And I feel like I I, I was in the mood to write, you know, and a lot of stuff I write. Um, I'm right now trying to decide how many songs I'm going to put on there because it seems like I wanted to do seven, but I'm finding so many other good songs that I kind of did, I had in the vault. I'm like, well, maybe I should use this. So I'm trying to figure it out, but it's coming. So these soon. are so some stuff is stuff that as a writer you just had as references that you were sitting on. Yeah, like I would go in the studio sometimes, and just because I like to write or I like to sing, I would just go in and do a song and just let it sit there and forget about it and just go out and never go back in the studio again. So I found a song that I did 2016 on my birthday. Actually, it's 7:14. I don't know why I was working in the studio on that day, but um, it's a really dope song. So I'm planning on using it. Was, you know, 2016. So, um, but uh, a lot of the other things, uh, and I have another song that I did probably back in 2005 that I'm probably gonna redo and put on there. Are you currently writing for other people? Um, I haven't been. I would, but I haven't been. Like, like I said, I really don't usually go in the studio. And if I go in the studio, I might go in there, play around a little bit, and put some down, and then I don't go back in there for studio. So, well, studio just your house? for just yeah, for everybody. My house. You know. yes. and, um, what? Sorry, how many? Sure. How many hits that we know did you write or write on or collaborate on? Um, from yeah. the escape days forward. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, or I just give us some few, names, some titles. I, I wrote on um, was it My Little Secret. You have, you know, the No Scrubs. It's uh, Love's a Funny Thing. Um, I like how few. you just went fast past No Scrubs. Like, like it was light. Like that <laughs> money. <laughs> like those that's checks are still coming that's in. My, that's my biggie. <laughs> I mean, that, that level of stunt. That level of stunt was She's so high. No scrubs. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I wrote on blah blah blah. No scrubs. Um, that went 190 <laughs> times platinum. Um, yo, the No Scrubs song is really still working for us. I mean, of course, you know Ed Sharon yeah. did. So like, we're back in the game again, getting new awards for. The yo, writing. Ed Sharon brought R&B back too. Yeah. Wow, he yeah. did it again. Reggae, R&B. He does it all. Doing everything. Hey. Yo, was it? Um, how many different writers are on that? Uh, on No Scrubs, yeah. uh, it's me, Candy, Shakespeare, and I think they might have gave Tony Mercedes something. So the cut is still solid. Yeah. It works out nice. And then Left Eye, she she also right. got she in wrote there. Her she, part. Wrote. she wrote her part. She wrote her part. Yeah. Did you guys know, was there any idea when you wrote that record that it was going to play to a point that literally, like, even you were probably like, I can't hear No Scrubs again. Like, it was a smash. Well, I mean, originally, uh, here again, me and Candy were was in the studio writing for our own project at the time. We had a project that we were doing together. It was called Cat for Candy and Tiny. And um, we wrote this song, and somehow, I think Tony Mercedes, is, which is how he got into the, uh, the splits, but he took the song somehow to... Um, <laughs> to my guy, L.A. Reed. LA. And so it went from there, and they wanted the song, and I'm like, um, and so we were just trying to decide, do we give this song up? Because we feel like this can be a big song for us. But, of course, we made the right decision, and we gave it up. <laughs> so when you wrote it, did you write, did you guys just write all the words, or you also write the cadence and the melodies for it, too? The melodies, definitely. So you, um, the, the whole no, yeah. the, I, I yeah. don't want your number. All those changes and stuff. Is all, all the all changes the and everything. Yes, Shakespeare. You know, of course, he did the track. Yeah, he did the track. In the did movie. you enjoy No Pigeons? Um, I did. It was another check. So you got know. forgot <laughs> it. It came out. Yeah. It was another That's check. Right. It was another check. Yeah. So it was good. Now we stopped at No Scrubs and My Little Secret. Yeah, and uh, I had oh, I said Love's a funny thing on uh. uh on um, the Escape album, and it's another song that we did on the last album that um, I wrote on. What's the name of it? Uh, it's a love song. It's another song on there. And then I also wrote some songs or a song or two on one of the Silk's album. Got it. Jeez. And what about what about Tip? Did you ever do you ever help Tip with hooks or anything like that? I do not. I don't really work around Tip at all. Why? Yeah, I don't know. 
I just don't. It's like not- it's always been separate. And he always says like he doesn't know me as that person because when he me and him got together, I was just kind of like. Well, that's a lie. I was in the studio. He actually came and did a song with me and Candy for the cat for the cat project. It was a really good so song. And way back, but this is a while pretty back. Nasty, but it was huh? But, oh, this is going way back though. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's going way back, but it was a pretty cool song. Y'all was young. Back. Y'all was young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was I had just met talk him and kind of what he was, was finna do to you and this and that. And now look, eighteen years later, seven <laughs> children. Yeah, it was. A bit, yeah. That's how y'all got it. <laughs> how did how did you guys first meet? Um. Well, I met him at the studio before, but I didn't re- remember him. He was just in there. Um, but I saw him at the mall, and he kind of stopped me. We were talking, and then I went into Victoria's Secret, and he came in there again. I was like, can I get your number? Dang, she's trying to buy number. drawers, bro. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice you were looking for ladies' undergarments. <laughs> I wanted to uh, invite you to a celebration of life. And he was looking so good that I still remember what he had on. Aww. Like it was a, it was another vibe. It was dope. <laughs> what do you have yeah. on, Tiny? Well, he had on this seersucker polo like outfit, uh-huh. like pants and jacket, and these little Cartier lenses. Fly. So he was looking good. He was still he was very yeah. Ti. Yeah, Even very right southern. Then. He had that twang then. He doesn't have it anymore. Right. Really? No. He, no. Do, do, I will solo. So we, we in always, and out, in and out. We always it's, tease him. We always when he's here and not here. When we talk okay. about him, we always do a voice like that for you. Do a voice. Sorry, I you're do. the only one I that do. does it. I do declare. So I always. But do you it, now? Do you think when he goes into that, it's almost like part of his character that he has, but it's not fully. He doesn't have it all the time anymore. Well, I mean, okay, I guess for you guys, because y'all are from up north, yeah. it still has a twang. But if you listen to his first album, yeah, uh, versus mm. like him now, it's not. It's more worldly. Yeah, he's not, more. No, no, worldly, he definitely you know? sounds on record. He sounds much different. Yeah, so I feel like it's not as twangy as it was back then. Like when I first met him, he was like really, really. Really southern. He just recently put out a record. I feel like where he was speaking about y'all's ups and downs on the la- on his last. The Mr. Pro- fuck up one. Yeah, Mr. Oh, fuck yeah. up. Um, <laughs> that face was incredible. All I was gonna say is, did you hear the song and how'd you feel about it? I thought it was a good record. <laughs> I mean, I heard it. Yeah, I thought it was a good record. Did you watch I mean, the video? I guess, huh? Did you watch the video? I did watch the video. I was there when they were making it. Yeah, it was. It was pretty cool. It was a good little movie. Yeah. Hey, man. Was anything yeah. left out? Was anything left out? There's yeah. always something left out, you know. You had to keep it safe. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think he did. I think he I think he get a, did a good job. I think that's it was his way of his apology of letting the world know how he felt about, uh, you know. And I, you know, hey, it was pretty good. Did you already, did it, was it meaningful to Sorry. you or it doesn't? I mean, I guess it was just, it wasn't really for me. I think it was more for the people. Right. You know, because I've had already, we had already been through our, you know, personal stuff or whatever. So I don't think it was really, really for me. I can right. tell by how she's rocking and getting her purse together. <laughs> Some things she's been, she's, she's making sure that this moves real nice with us right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's, let's play a record. Though, yeah, right? well, let's go to her song, I Fucking Love You. Is this to Mr. T.I.? It is. It is. I mean, I was just writing, you know, about how I feel about us, you know, a relationship. Most of most of these songs that are like kind of my story. I I feel like they're my story. I just write about what I feel. And how recent did you write this? Uh, this was like a little bit after New Year's, I think it was. Oh, it was new. Okay, so this is this is relatively new. Yeah. This is good. So this, this is, is um a, this is after he wrote Mr. Fuck Up. Yeah, um, and my because uh, this is bringing it full circle. Yeah, yes, because VH1 was asking me like, "Yo, is this an answer to?" It? And I was like, "No, I hadn't even thought about his Mister Fuck Up. I wasn't, you know, I don't know. I, you know, it wasn't. Uh, it was just what I was feeling. It was an independent thought. Yeah. Is there any advice you have for people in relationships? Um, Because watching you uh, navigate our questions with regard to his Mr. Fuck Up, y'all relationship, being a mother and everything, I could tell that you you have the ability to put things in the past and move forward. That may be a trait of mine. It may be a cancer trait. I mean, I think, um, you know, we're just like nurturers and loving people. But um, I I do, but I don't know. It just comes with time, I guess. And... um, 
And it's I, I get stronger and stronger every everything I go through. You know what I'm saying? I build on it. And how much of this do we see in the new Family Hustle episodes? Everything's good. You're gonna pretty much see good stuff because we we've been we've been in a good space for a while now. So I mean, it's pretty much. I mean, you know, we're going through the things with the kids, but nothing really with us. We've been really good. I fucking love you. The new single from Tiny. It just came out on May 3rd. On Monday, T.I. and Tiny's family and friends and family hustle. Friends and family hustle. Friends are involved now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gotta expand, man. Yes. Here we go, man. Give it up for Tiny Thanks, one Tiny time. Is. It's great to see you again. She's Thank still getting you those stories, too. Money. Don't forget it. Go stream it right now. <laughs>